it has been a busy couple of days for me in my little res animal rescue world here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, on Monday morning, I was up early and I saw, I was drinking my coffee on my front porch and I saw a dog hopping on three legs across the street um, running through my neighbor's yard. Um, and I knew that previously her mate, there had been another male dog running as a stray in our neighborhood, that he had been, um, gotten, gotten, taken into safety in, uh, my neighbor's backyard and she had taken him to the shelter in our county where we live, um, so that he could be, um, you know, neutered, vaccinated, checked for a microchip, for, that comes first, he didn't have a chip, and, um, then placed up for adoption after being temperament tested as well. So I knew based on a picture that there was a female roaming with him, but the female had been too elusive to catch. She was just too scared to, um, to go to anybody. So because I had been able to get a stray dog before come to me, um, and get her into my yard, um, you know, like kind of, I, that particular dog, her name ended up being Nala. The shelter named her Nala. I was able to get her into my yard with uh, using lunch meat um, as um, as a way to lure her into the yard, and uh, we were able to get her to safety at the shelter. And she was a, she wasn't there long before she was adopted, maybe just two weeks. So in our county where we live, animal control will not come and chase dogs around. Um, you have to have the dog either on a leash or in your garage or in your backyard or something contained in order for them to, uh, to come pick up the dog. So with the female that I saw running on the three legs, sometime in between um, when my neighbor had seen the two dogs and gotten the male into safety, um, the female had what we believe she's been hit, she had been hit by a car. So I tried, of course, to get her to come to me and get her, um, you know, j without having to use a humane trap. But ultimately, I realized that she desperately needed help and she had probably been hit by a car. And I decided I was going to try to use a humane dog trap for the first time. I've done, I've done a lot of TNR with feral cats, uh, but I've never attempted to trap a dog before. So I have some friends who work in rescue who have a lot of experience in this field of rescue. And they, you know, had gotten together as a team and purchased a trap and a camera. And they have a kit that's always ready to go, um, which you'll see me like explaining what's in the kit and how to use the trap in the videos. But basically um, on Monday morning early, I saw the dog for the first time. On Monday night, I went and picked up the trap on Tuesday, we set the trap with the door propped open. The, um, the trip plate wasn't set. The door was propped open on the trap. And um, basically the idea there was just to put a nice meal in there for her and get her to go in the trap and eat. And then she would be able to leave because we had the door propped open. So the trap was not set on Tuesday. Um, on Tuesday night, the camera gave us notifications that she visited the trap at 5 a.m., looking in there for her to see if there was some more yummy food in there. Um, and again, at 7.30, she was outside of the trap. So I, uh, looking in, so I immediately went over there and we set the trap. So in this day two video, you're going to see how we actually set the trap. And then you will see... Um, her in the trap when we got her and then some photos of her in my car and then some photos of her at the vet at the clinic in the shelter where we took her so I'm really glad it worked out the way it did um it's this is pretty rare rare for to be able to trap a dog in just two days um a lot of the work that my volunteer friends do involves Trapping dogs, trying to get dogs to safety who have been on the run for a very long time. It can take a very long time to trap a dog. And these people are really dedicated to this, meaning if the camera goes off saying the, uh, gives off a notification that the dog has been trapped in the middle of the night, they get out of bed and go get the dog in their car because you don't want to leave a dog or a feral cat in a trap by themselves because they get really upset and they'll start flailing around and they can hurt themselves. And my poor girl, 
um, was already hurt and I didn't want her to get even more injured than she already was by freaking out in the trap. So I had the opportunity or the luxury, I should say, of being able to watch her patterns and um, fig even had the figured out that she was taking shelter in an abandoned house in my neighborhood that was vacant. So I didn't have to worry about getting permission from an owner, although that would be always be advisable um, because the, the house is vacant. There's been no activity there in a year. So I got really lucky and I had a good place to set the trap. All right, um, please, if you will, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. And it would mean a world, the world to all the animals that I'm trying to help, both dogs and cats, here in my suburb of Atlanta, Georgia. And um, please give the video a like and a share, and I hope you enjoy. There she is. She's right across the street in my neighbor's driveway. Maybe she'll go across so you can see how she, how she's running on three legs. Hey Nugget, we'll get you some help today, baby. She is very scared. That's why I can't just get her on a leash or anything. Like she's not, she's already a little afraid and she is injured, which makes her more afraid, but she's wearing a collar. She's not like a feral dog or anything. She's just, somehow found herself completely alone and now she's hurt. She's probably been hit, <sighs> hit by a car. Hey. I guess she's wanting to see what's in that bag because she's out right now looking for food. This is the house where the dog is hanging out in the afternoons. She just kind of lays in the leaves. Um, and this house had a, experienced a fire and has been abandoned ever since. Um, so if you look, she's right there. Hey, baby! And we're gonna set up the trap. Okay, so I'm about to set the trap. Um, and I've got a towel, so. In addition to this yard lace, dealing with some noise this morning from yard maintenance crew. I hope that it's going to work because the weather has changed and it's going to be even colder by the weekend. Alright, so I'm going to set the trap, put the door open, set it for real today. And then there's the, that activates the trip point, which is right there. So I kind of wanted to put the yard waste bag and then the towel to make sure she will actually, because dogs don't like to put their paws on that metal. So I kind of wanted to add a little bit more padding right there. It's got to be all the way in the cage. The towel? Yeah, or the, the it won't shut properly. Okay. All right, but the trap has a back door. This is where you can easily put the food in from, so you don't have to like crawl into the cage. To place the food. Okay, the food today's food um, has 300 milligrams of gabapentin in it. It's a pain med because I know that she's in pain. <clears throat> pain last night when I came to check on the trap. She's sitting on the front porch of the house, and then she, when she saw me, she got scared and she ran into the backyard, which is her safety zone. And she was crying out as she ran, so I know she's in pain. So I'm hoping we get her today and we're gonna have to take her to the shelter and that the gabapentin will make for a more relaxing and peaceful experience, even though she's gonna be completely freaked out. Um, if I had trazodone, I would give that to her as well, but I don't have any. Okay. So that, the food is placed. Okay, this is important. There's a um, carabiner clip right here, and this door has to be locked so she, when we do get her, that she can't escape. 
So in order to do that, I'm just going to clip this handle to this piece right here. Okay, so that ensures that the door doesn't, the back door is a little bit open. And then just like yesterday, I'm going to lure her to the top with the liquid smoke and the little smokies. The reason for the blanket underneath the trap is that when we get her in the trap, we are actually going to pick up the blanket and kind of use it like a, a gurney. That way we're not having to stick our hands in the holes of the cage and because scared dogs and injured dogs can sometimes bite. So that will help us to pick her up, put her in the back of the SUV, and get her to the shelter without having to put our fingers near her mouth. Okay. Yeah, she is pretty. Oh, girl. You ate your food? There's a yellow jacket in her. So this is a picture of Cranberry when we were at the clinic at the shelter and she was being seen by the vet. I was um, sure to get her into, inside of the building before we opened up the trap. I was a little bit wary of how she might act, but she was completely um, calm and collected despite the amount of pain she was obviously in. The vet tech was easily able to leash her and get her out of the trap. She did not growl or show her teeth or show any signs of aggression. I was incredibly proud of her. I um, requested the name Cranberry for her. She just seems like a cranberry to me, and I had a previous favorite shelter dog named Cranberry about four years ago as a volunteer dog walker at my county shelter, and this young lady just reminds me of the first Cranberry, so this is the second Cranberry. Um, I will find out more about where she is and where she's going to be housed so that I can go visit her as a volunteer. Um, she, uh, the vet was able to get a muzzle on her easily and give her a physical exam and quickly told me, was able to tell me that her, both her ulna and her radius in her left forelimb were broken. So she has two broken bones. Um, and they said they were going to have to sedate her to get her x-rays because getting a dog's or a cat's, you know, one of their arms or legs into the position for the x-ray machine to get good images can be very painful. And so they were going to have to put her under some anesthesia to get those x-rays. I had hoped to be able to share more about Cranberry's journey as I learn more about the next steps. <music>